Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Joel. I'm Megan. I'm Lauren. I'm Tracy. I'm Daniel. I'm Grandpa. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everybody. It's so nice to see you. Right now, we're looking through our cooler, and we're looking at all the orders we need to pick today. We're coming up on Labor Day weekend. People are going to be having picnics. They're going to be having outings. So we're going to be pretty busy today. We're on set, quiet. So Joel, what have you been up to this morning? Uh, this morning we started off by um, going and chopping some silage. And let me tell you, Andrew, it does not look good out there. And the rest of the morning after we finish feeding animals is getting the store stocked up. If there's not a better example that it's going to be a busy day, the parking lot is full of cars already. You can see people have been picking up tomatoes. We've already got a lot of orders put aside today. Well, there was a lot more. Someone picked up nine baskets of tomatoes already this morning for an order. So we are moving the tomatoes. It's a little too busy for us boys, so we're gonna head back to the fields and start picking. For picking vegetables, we're gonna start off with our cucurbits, and that's mainly our cucumbers, our pickling cucumbers, and zucchini. definitely tell these cucumbers are on their last legs it's getting scarce to find them but there are some here just not what there used to be I just missed the basket so in the past two weeks we've been hit by two large hurricanes here in Pennsylvania over the past two weeks we've had over 12 inches of rain and that does a lot of good I guess but mostly bad for us so we fare a little better than others because our soil is so rocky, the water drains away, but it does bring a lot of problems. And one of those big problems is disease. If we look down here at the pickling cucumbers, which my dad and Joel are picking, this is all new growth that is coming on these pickling cucumbers. But if you look at the leaves, you can see that the leaves are starting to change yellow on this new growth and it's starting to have pressure. Now this means that this is already starting to get disease even though it's new growth. And what those hurricanes are doing, they're bringing up a lot of powdery mildew, a lot of downy mildew, and that really affects these cucurbits. There are some minerals that we could add to fight these diseases, but it's getting to the point where we are going to be overwhelmed. Uh, you've got downy mildew and powdery mildew, both affect these, but you can't use the same mineral for each one. So you have to put something else on. Ida specifically came through the Tennessee Valley, which means it came from the Southwest moving Northeast. So it basically gathered all the disease that uh, is common in the crops in that area and brought it up to here where normally it, it doesn't exist because of our frost. So because of Ida's trajectory and path where uh, she went over top, all of our cucurbits are now going to have that um, downy mildew uh, that's starting to affect it. When the hurricanes come straight up from the south, that's when we get affected by the powdery mildew. When it comes from the southwest, that's when we get affected by the downy mildew. And if you're curious what minerals we use to fight that, we use zinc, copper, and magnesium. We just finished harvesting all of the cucurbits that we needed to pick. All we have to do is go down through here and pick up the rest of the baskets. But the cucumbers are finished, the pickling cucumbers, and now the zucchini. Before we head back to the farm market, we made a stop over by our last planting of coal crops. Aunt Becky needs broccoli for broccoli salad she's making over the weekend. We're gonna get her some of that. We need to harvest our kohlrabi because it's starting to get too large. We also need some Chinese cabbage. We parked next to this beautiful bok choy. There's no way we're not gonna harvest this stuff. The number one reason why we need broccoli is because my Aunt Becky is making a broccoli salad for the weekend and she needs some broccoli. It is a little small, but it'll do for what she needs. We give this broccoli about two weeks and there will be a ton out here. Hmm. 
Matthew showed up and said people have been asking for gourds back at the farm market. And it looks like a patch of weeds here, but there's a bunch of gourds planted right in this section. So he just harvested some quick. Because it's Labor Day weekend and people are asking for pumpkins already, but we don't, we're not going to get pumpkins, but we'll pick some gourds and maybe they'll take those instead. We ran into a little bit of a problem. Tell them what the problem is. There's no room. There is too many people here. We can't get inside. There's a dog in that car. We can't even park to unload everything. So we're just gonna have to wait till after lunch because you know us, <laughs> we can't miss lunch time. Hamburg barbecue and mac and cheese. We finished up our lunch and then we took the moment to unload the wagon. Uh, we also wanted to wash some tomatoes that we had, clean them up, make them look a little bit nicer. They were a little dirty from all the rain that we had, and we also washed some cucumbers. Oh yeah. Origami master. Since we got all of these cucumbers washed, uh, we're just gonna box them. We, one, have no room in the cooler, and two, this is just gonna save us a lot of time. If someone places an order for cucumbers, then we already have them boxed. That's why we like washing them, because normally we'd have to wipe down each and every one of these cucumbers, but since we run them through the washer, it makes this job a lot easier. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Joel and I got all those boxes of cucumbers put away. What have you been doing in here? I'm just filling up half bushels of baskets and getting them out. Apparently it's been so busy, Rhonda said she has lost all control. So that's good, we got a lot of stuff in here we need to sell. There's a lot of drama going on here. Becky, tell us what's happening. Autumn calls all the older gentlemen hun. I call everyone oh, hun. The local grocery store just called and placed a really large order. We were a little confused that uh, they hadn't called yet. Usually they always have an order uh, that we pick on Friday, but they hadn't called us just until now. Ring the alarm bells, ring the alarm bells. We're gonna be out of eggplant. We can go pick them this afternoon. Well, right here's your eggplant. Why'd you take all my eggplant? Rhonda, we don't print money. Complain some more, Andrew. Whew. Help me with the eggplant here, or you can help Andy with the guano. If you've never seen a poblano pepper, this is kind of what it looks like. They can turn from green to red. They're not too, too spicy. They're a hot pepper, but they're definitely not as spicy as some of the varieties we raise. Now back at the farm market, everyone has been picking up a lot of peppers and these cubanelles have been a very popular item. Now here's the thing, we have colored cubanelles back at home, but we just want the green. Every year for some reason, I have no idea why, we have one item that just gets really popular and these green cubanelle have been popular so far this year. I know we're looking for green ones, but I'm not leaving this one behind. Just a little we got our cubanelle peppers harvested, and now we just need green bell peppers before we get the sweet corn. I think I just found a huge pepper. Holy cow. Hey, Matt. These bell peppers over here are looking really nice. They're all just starting to turn red, which the problem is we needed green peppers, not red. So it took a little bit longer to find what we need. Did you enjoy picking peppers? Yeah, picking peppers is fun. What's your favorite pepper to pick? It's a 
Depends on the year. Whatever is the nicest. I agree with that. Whenever you're in an area that has really nice stuff, it makes picking a lot easier and a lot more fun. The hard part is when you have to constantly look and search for a variety, that makes it more difficult. Like when we have a pepper that's not having a great year and we need a lot of that, oh, it can be rough. It's sweet. While we're picking this sweet corn, one thing is very obvious. There are some large ears out here. And the wind did cause a little bit of a problem. You can see we've got some knockdown stalks in here. And we also had a ditch running through our cornfield that went right through the middle of our potatoes. Uh, you can see there's a pretty sizable ditch from where the rain washed out. We'll have to be careful while we're driving through here and harvesting property. Oh yeah, yeah. It was completely underwater. Look well, at this. That is a big boy ear right there. I can show you how fast the critters get to the corn the second it falls over. If we just look down here, this ear that is on the ground, you can see uh, it's been munched on a little bit. Don't know exactly what ate it. It could have been a skunk, raccoons, mice, anything really at this point. We've got our yellow and white corn, but before we head back to the farm market, we stopped here at the field where there's white corn. We want to get some of this because we have no more back at the farm market. It's a jungle in there. It's a jungle in there. It's a jungle in there. Tomorrow we're expecting to have a lot of uh, people and customers coming because it's the weekend. So since it's going to be, since we're expecting a lot of business, I'm trying to get some boxes prepared and made for you, Andrew. So that way you can box up the tomatoes with efficiency. Yeah, we have a lot of tomatoes here and it's gonna be Labor Day weekend, so we will need boxes. Ooh. Ooh. Having some boxes pre-made will help out a lot because it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. We don't wanna be fooling around making those boxes. We'll be able to come out here, load the tomatoes up and send them on their way. We got done with work and we came up to not my house, but Matt's house, cause <laughs> we're eating dinner tonight. And Lauren's already over here hanging out with Tracy. It's date night, so we're all getting burgers from a local place called Bottlenecks. One of my favorite places to get a burger. So we're gonna be getting burgers and then hanging out. So that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I want to thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye